you guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is Olivia and today I will be thrift flipping I will be I don't know what it's called I'm gonna be redoing these jeans I thrifted I think this is called thrift flipping so that's what we're gonna do I'll show you guys a pair of jeans I bought it for I think four dollars it was on sale it was originally like seven eight but then it was half off because it was a tuesday i think so first things first these are the jeans they are this like whitish color i really love them they are wide-legged i don't know if you can tell but they are wide-legged they have a few stains on them so my plan is that i want to take in the waist because it is a little big on me but i also want to try to paint butterflies on them but we will see how that goes. The Salvation Army a week ago. I love them. This is what the back looks like. They are just very simple. But they, one, do not fit me. And two, have stains on them. So we are just gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna try these on and show you guys what they look like. These are said jean. Honestly, I can keep them like this waist length. But I want it to be more high-waisted. So I think I'm gonna just take in like a small little inch. The length on the feet are perfect, but this is what this is a before looks like. Another look, but just a little closer. My first step of action is to fix the waist. I'm not going to be taking off any length in the jean, so I'm literally just going to flip this inside out. And I'm going to make two small pleats. I might undo this and like redo it if that makes any sense, but I'm just going to see what will be easiest. I have my sewing machine here. And I will tell you guys what I end up doing. So I was looking and I wanted to originally do the pleating here where the pocket was. Because on this side, that's where the pleating is. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So this is the back of the jean. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. And I'm also going to get rid of this and just kind of like fold it in and sew a V right here. I took a sewing class in high school, but I've never really done anything with it you know what i mean and <laughs> it's also been three years since i took that sewing class so um hopefully i still remember how to do this my braids fell out but this is what we're looking like i can't seem to get this piece off i i don't know what i did but i ended up getting the tag off so i think my next step of action is i'm literally just gonna try to like cut down the middle and get this piece off I cut down the middle. I'm gonna undo this soon, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna fold it like this. And instead of sewing right back up the seam, I'm gonna sew like a diagonal line. I'm not gonna pin it. I'm just gonna make sure these two line up because they're like on the, mm, I don't know how to explain it, but I think if these two line up, everything will be fine. And I just wanna make sure it's like not a super sharp line, but a very subtle line. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're just gonna go for it. You guys, I cannot believe I got it on the first try. I kid you not. I don't know how that worked. I just sewed a straight line and I was just like, well, hopefully this is right because I double stitched it. And it was right. I don't know how. But I'm going to go over this again just in case and then I'm going to cut off the excess. These pants, since now they fit my waist perfectly, is I printed out like these butterflies and all I'm going to do is I'm literally gonna like tape it kind of and I'm gonna poke out little dots I mean if you know how to draw this is better but I'm literally just gonna tape this and then like kind of outline it so that I can paint it easier I'm gonna strategically place these so that they cover the small stains place this butterfly over this little stain and literally I'm just gonna poke holes or okay maybe maybe I'll like poke it first before i do this so i don't ruin my sharpie but i'm literally just gonna try to make like little dots so i know where to paint i don't think this is the best method but i don't draw and i don't have like a small projector i can use you know so i'm just gonna So this is what my little outline looks like now. I ended up using a thumbtack and kind of like running it across. Not really like 
an exacto knife but just like running little i don't i don't know how to explain it but i'm gonna stick this on there and before i forget what it looks like i think i'm just gonna paint it now i only did two of these butterflies like these this huge one and i'm literally just gonna paint it try to remember what it looks like and yeah these are the two paints i have i have this speedball screen printing ink and if you guys have seen this before it's probably because it was in my last video so i'll put that right here but literally all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this like regular yeah i'm gonna use this like regular paint and it technically is kind of like paint except it's like wash safe it will not come off i'm just gonna use my painting brushes too because i don't really know what else i'm gonna use um and yeah let's just um i'm just gonna start and i'm gonna time lapse this I'm watching a video and I'm 13 minutes through it and I barely finished the other half of the butterfly. And I don't even know if it looks that good. It doesn't look like that. But it looks like a butterfly, right? I'm gonna paint the other butterfly and I will tell you how long it takes. This is the other butterfly. Um, This one looks more like this one. But just worse <laughs> i definitely tried harder on this one it just did not end up turning out the way i wanted it to so i um i'm just gonna leave it how it is and later on if i need to i'll fix it but um it looks kind of whack i'm gonna let both of these dry and then come back to it later <laughs> long time no see but i finally finished the pants i'm literally wearing them right now i wore them out and i got so many compliments on them and they are so cute but the thing is the butterflies don't really look pristine is that is that the right word look ironed on or anything they look like a little more rustic which i kind of like i feel like it kind of fits the vibe and they are kind of like hard not gonna lie oh kind of like crunchy too but i feel like that'll go away within the first wash because this is screen printing ink but I literally just kept repeating that process over and over again. Honestly, it wasn't the easiest process, but I did get better at it. So I'll show you guys the butterflies. I'll post them on the screen while I'm talking about this. I think that is it for the video, but if you guys liked it, please give it, this video a huge thumbs up. And if you guys liked me, make sure to subscribe down below so that you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. I think that is basically it. Here are my social medias, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!